we've got some real challenges out there on the environment and we need to do something about them. Our individual behavior has a ripple effect, has an impact that, that goes out in many different directions. We're not uh, human beings over here separate. We are human beings part of the natural cycle of resources, natural cycle of energy, natural cycle of water. And we can't operate, we can't just do whatever we want without having some effect on everything else in the system. Environmental dashboard is kind of a combination of a technology and an approach to engaging community members in smart decision making on environmental choices. The environmental dashboard has three main components, the building dashboards, the citywide dashboard, and the community voices aspect. And those three elements are displayed in two main venues. One is through the website where people can go and really interact and explore the information at their own pace. And then on the digital screens, which are put around town. There's building dashboard, which monitors and displays electricity and water use in individual buildings. There's citywide dashboard, which um, monitors and displays um, electricity and water use in whole communities. And then the third piece is called um, community voices. Well, the community voices is really about celebrating people and the sustainable uh, environmental actions that they're taking in their lives every day. It doesn't really matter what your background is, what your culture is, somehow, some way, people are doing something that's uh, sustainable. Part of what we're trying to do is to cut out some of that buzzword stuff and figure out what does this community care about? What is it that we want to continue into the future as a community? What do we want to give to our children growing up in this community? Um, and that's what the environmental dashboard is trying to promote. Part of what we've been trying to do with environmental dashboard is to construct a context in which people really see their individual decisions as being part of something larger. They're making that connection. If you affect one thing, it's going to have an impact on something else and probably something else after that. This is a pilot that's happening in Oberlin and Oberlin is such a great petri dish for these kind of experiments because the community is so aware and so willing to jump in and be progressive and be on the cutting edge. But what we really want is to iron out the kinks here and then make it workable for other communities all over the world because the more people are aware of the way that they're using their resources and how they are tied into their resource use as a community, the bigger the effects of the project will be. And so environmental dashboard at one level is really just trying to make it easier psychologically to do that. So you understand that the decisions I'm making are taking place in the context of a community. You understand that there are a lot of other people in this community who are thinking about and acting on the environment in good ways and that, um, you know, making people feel like, hey, I want to be part of that. There's something going on here. People are taking action. I want to be taking action. I want to be moving this community forward in what I'm doing. Thank you.